<laughs> hey Richard, good morning. Good morning. This uh, looks like an absolutely beautiful supercharger kit for this FA2 that Jeds has already took some bits off. It does, certainly. We're excited for this one. This one is a, uh, a pretty much a track car. It's arrived here from uh, somewhere else that hadn't finished certain parts. So we'll talk about that a bit later on in the video. But for now, this is the kit. It's a top mount supercharger kit from TTS. It is. Now we've got some adjustments to be made, like we're going to use a different set of injectors from the kit. We're also going to use a different dump valve and we're There's going to use pump. a different fuel pump. Yeah, these are just common areas that we've seen issues with, isn't they? Yeah, the, the fuel, fuel pump. pump. We've had fail, which obviously no one needs. Yeah. Uh, injectors, we like using the Boss Thousand, so that's our personal choice, to be fair. Uh, and the dump valve, we've seen that the supply in the kit um, gives you overboost on gear changes. Indeed. So we've eradicated that problem. So we've right. made some of our own adjustments to the TTS kit. If you need any help with that, you give us a shout. But in the meantime, we're going to get it bolted up to this. And uh, hopefully we'll get some footage and, and move along. So here we go. Stay tuned. Well, the supercharger kit is on and it's up on the dyno. Um, it's already got an Ecotec license as we've seen this car previously, two different owners in fact. So it's time to uh, put it through its paces. Let's do it. Well, I love this. Yeah. 
You need supercharger in yours. I, I don't. <laughs> well, I don't need a super. I can't. I couldn't handle this amount of power, mate. No. So this is finished on 427 brake horsepower. Yeah, really happy with that. I think our previous best was 4... Maybe 415, 420 was Matty's, was it not? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere around there. Uh, slight difference in this one. This one has got a set of uh, drag cartel dropping cams in there. Uh, so obviously made a little bit more, I think, in the mid-range. I've got a set of them in mind, but it doesn't make any idea as we can. No, it would definitely oh, that's because mine's power. missing a supercharger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so really good power, really impressed. I definitely wanted to make over the 400 mark for sure. Uh, we've certainly broken that. Um, yeah, I think this is sort of the end of the round of the mechanical work for us, for sure. Um, but I think we've already touched on this is off to Uncle Keith's paint shop next. It is. Um, it is. It's off to Uncle Keith's paint shop. It's a, it's a lovely car. Like I said, we've seen it in various different fashions with various different owners. So we've known this car a little while. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really, really nice. And and I think from a, for, for for our team, a proud moment where again we show off that we can do everything here, yeah, from start to finish. So whether that's an engine swap, because this has had a replacement engine at some point, it did at some point, yeah. Whether it's supercharging it, or whether it's having the whole car fully refreshed with paint, yeah, yeah. You know, really, that's a, re a really proud achievement, I think. And uh, yeah, it's going to be lovely to see the customer's face when he collects it. So, uh, Jensen, here's, here's our Jensen. Here's Jack. You've enjoyed uh, this one, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I have really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed fitting the supercharger. You really got stuck in, haven't you, and, and enjoyed yeah. it? Yeah, it's the first supercharger kit I've ever fitted. I would say TTS make everything fit nicely. There was no swearing, really. Not much swearing. Well, there was, some, there was some boost part swearing. Yeah, there was definitely some boost part swearing. There was definitely some boost part swearing. But the rest of the kit, the instructions they provide and everything clears everything up very nicely. We, we handed kit. back TTS some information as well, didn't we? Well, we've had a bit to throw with TTS, isn't it? I think. The reason that the boost parts didn't fit on this particular car is it got skunked to Pro Series inlet manifold. So obviously the kit's designed for the standard one. Um, it was a little bit of an issue where we didn't get a battery tray for some reason. Yes, but they did ship one out. They did ship one out. Uh, you do need to change the battery with this uh, particular application as well, so be warned on that. Uh, and the battery is not supplied in the kit and it's an 050 battery. That's right, yeah, yeah. 058, it's, um, it's uh, like a small brick size thing. Yeah, it? and you have to change, uh, you have to modify the battery cables um, to work that. In this instance, I took the fuse off the battery terminal, fitted a breaker box so that obviously I could fit that where I wanted it, joined it to the original battery cable, and then obviously made my new cable then from that junction box up to the, yeah. Yeah, up to the battery. And also right. this, this, this motor hasn't got air con, has it? No, this car hadn't got air con. So the, air the con belt, belt, the air con belt was removed. So then, obviously, we had to get we, a belt. We had to know. we had to figure out which belt we needed to use, and and obviously we've let TTS know, so they've wrote that down. Yeah, so TTS they've obviously got for air con and non air con. But yeah, models. additional to the TTS kit, as per usual, we fitted the oversized dump valve from yeah. Turbo Smart. Again, that was a modification to the boost pipe, but that's our choice, not necessarily something that needed to happen because of the kit. Yeah, and uh, and we've gone with some thousand cc Bosch injectors. Yeah, we have. We changed them. So out. they're, they're re realistically fuel pump. Oh yes, that's right. So we have had that conversation before. But yeah. we're, we're we're fitting a a, a branded fuel pump. Yeah. Um, to the kit, it's longevity, and if you can probably imagine that the amount of money that's gone into this car, a cheap Chinese fuel pump it takes an engine out. It's going to be people are yeah, really upset, won't it? It's the Achilles heel of that kit. Isn't yeah, it? we've definitely uh, we've. We had an issue, we've had an issue twice with the fuel pumps, haven't we? Where one, it didn't run, which is the best case scenario. Because, uh, absolutely. Because obviously you can like, well, that's not working, so we need to sort that out. Uh, and we had an instance where it failed like during mapping. So obviously we've just completely now, we don't fit those pumps. Yeah. Um, just for our, you know, for us and for the customers, you know. But if you guys say, are thinking of supercharging your FN2 or EP3, uh, yeah, and you want to drop it off, and let us do it, then you give us a shout and we'll, and we'll get you in. We uh, we enjoy it, and the proof is in the pudding here. This car is immensely quick. Yeah. Let's have a look at the graph. Let's have a look at that graph. Well, there she is, look at that. As Richard said, very impressive. And we finish on 427 brake horsepower. That's 359 at the wheels. That's impressive stuff. Very impressive indeed. Pretty fast. 
Hey, it's your boy Danny at Dino Days. Just to let you know, every last Saturday of the month is a Honda meet at Dino Days. So that's every last Saturday, 9am till 12 noon. We've got a rolling road here if you need it. But otherwise, just come down in your Honda, park up, pop your hood, chat to other like-minded enthusiasts. We love it. It's chilled out. So come and join us. Last Saturday of every month, Honda meet. Yeah.